taking out the trash, taking out the trash. The hell are you doing, good sir? Taking out the trash, taking out the trash, taking out the trash. Oh. This damn weapon is fucking good once you actually get a fucking good aim at it. Hey guys, this is Ghost here coming at you with uh, yet another build. Today we're going to talk about uh, the Ferox. The Ferox is actually in a very, very unique position, I'd say. Uh, at the moment, I feel that it honestly is the best gun staff. Uh, the Scourge is definitely very, very close in terms of actual usage, but in terms of raw damage, it is very obvious that the Ferox is kind of being the king at the moment. As we can see, the Ferox would indeed be a unique weapon that does specialize in a lot of things, uh, mostly crit. Uh, it hits like 12 trucks. We'll just say that. It hits like 12 trucks. Uh, it says it's got 16.7% accuracy, which is really good, meaning uh, wherever you aim, it's pretty much going to hit. Uh, however, that low of accuracy does mean that heavy caliber, unfortunately, is not usable in any way, shape, or form. It is really recommended to not even bother with it. However, the charge rate is not bad at all. It's got a 0.50 charge rate, which means with speed trigger, this damn thing will fire almost instantly. Uh, the crit chance is 30%, which is really good. And it's got a base crit multiplier of 2.5, as opposed to normal 2 that most weapons have. That is very, very, very good. Uh, it obviously is alarming. It's got a 10 round magazine, and it's not doing so well in the status department since it's only got 10% status. However, it does a lot of raw damage, about 35 impact, 245 puncture, and 20 slash. And upon taking a look at my build that I've got going on, uh, note this speed trigger for me is optional since I do have a Riven, uh, which will put this in crit, orange crit territory. Uh, this is completely optional. Uh, I like having that there, but for general use, this, this is sufficient. 75% uh, is more than enough. Uh, you got serration split chamber for your damage, uh, stormbringer and you know malignant force for you know extra elemental damage, point strike and vital sense, you know obviously for more crit, and we've got bladed rounds for more consistency on kills, so that way you get even more crit. So. Yeah, this thing hits like 12 trucks and is very, very, very scary when it actually is used correctly. Uh, for instance, in this type of situation, we'll grab two level 80s. And uh, for instance, we're going to go ahead and take out the Bombard first. He's dead. Go ahead and reload and his buddy. Dead. Like, once we actually get our crits in there, it, like, it is done for. That is why I like the Riven, because it guarantees me crits. Um, guaranteeing me crits, I feel, is a bit better, so if you want and you don't mind... Uh, the fire rate, you could throw on Argon Scope, uh, and it would make it a bit more consistent on criticals, which would, in theory, I feel, make it a lot better. In terms of its damage output, we'll do it the opposite way this time, since we have more consistent criticals. Now, I've just wiped in three shots, because it makes it so that way you can't not crit. That's why Argon Scope is recommended. Uh, that's like, for instance, uh, another YouTuber, Brozyme, one of my favorites. Um, being more consistent is sometimes a bit better than not being able to, like, especially when your crit, da when your crit damage is your main source of damage, 
if you get a couple shots in there, like what I just did, that aren't criticals, like, that's basically, you're, you're fucked, you're dead, you were dead, but with Argon Scope, you can ensure that you actually get the job done, because you can't not crit with this on, with that on, you are guaranteed your, your, your high damage value that has ridiculous amounts of critical damage, um, but again, for those who don't mind, Speed trigger is enough. That's enough. Because if you get your criticals in there, then you're doing fine. Uh, that right there is just consistency. Uh, however, uh, one thing to note, again, with the heavy caliber issue, uh, this weapon cannot use heavy caliber. Uh, with it equipped, uh, you're basically... I mean, you're basically going to be lucky to even hit the target. Uh, we'll go ahead and use them again. Our lovely two assistants. Bob and Steve. Oh, getting some consistency, but as you can see, not hitting the head consistently. Oh, there we go. Pretty good. Now, see, that is up close, but with this type of weapon, you don't usually want to be that close. You want to be around this range, and obviously, um, yeah, see, I got the one lucky, one lucky shot. Oh, there's a second one, and as you can see, it does a lot of damage when it hits. But, uh, I have an issue actually hitting. That's even if I can hit him. Yeah, as you can see... There's a lot of troubles with being able to hit your target, so, I mean, if you hit them, you're doing a lot of damage, but at that point, if you're that close, you really need to change weapon types, because you should be probably using a shotgun and you'd enjoy that. Maybe the heck, or tigers for you. But, uh, this right here is indeed a pretty good build, at least as far as I know. Uh, and if I were to be honest... I kind of would rid myself of this uh, because I wouldn't need the status uh, necessarily all that much. Uh, I could easily change it up a bit and decide instead to throw on my Riven. And this is stupid. This kind of damage is never ever needed. You don't need this damage. That this damage is toxic. No pun intended on the elemental damage type, but this is very toxic. And this is the reason that I don't do it, because, like, I don't feel anything with doing this. Oh. Get a kill. And then the Bombard. Yeah. Oh, Not even going to get started on that. I killed two. Those were two Bombards. He was hiding inside of them. I killed two. Yeah, that, that amount of damage is about never needed. So, uh, don't do that. You don't, you don't need to do that. that. You don't need that much damage. Uh, essentially, uh, I do it because, I don't know, I mean, I don't see a reason ever to need that much damage, so, this is for the people who don't mind the fire rate, being a little bit off, but love the consistency, because you are always guaranteed criticals, or you could throw this in here for, like, some low-level stuff, because, obviously, anything that is not, like, very high, like, where were the odds that you would see such an enemy? Because usually on that, you're using corrosive projection anyways. Uh, and with something that's like level 50, uh, I'm pretty sure it will just damn near... Oh, hang on. There we go. Yeah, damn near blitz them. Like, it damn near will blitz them. 
and infested. We don't even need, I don't, I don't even think we need to count them, but we're going to. Let's go ahead and grab an ancient healer. Uh, they, they don't even matter. Because, obviously, it just blitz them. Like, pretty much immediately. So, um, all in all, uh, it's a really good weapon. It, oh, also, it has a very... Very amusing niche that is really, really handy. Uh, let's go ahead and use this as a small example. This is just a small example. Uh, now, say you just got the weapon and you know you're just fooling around with it. And, uh, you know, you happen to run into a whole bunch of enemies. Uh, you're just leveling up the weapon. Uh, I did take all of the mods off, so that way this can be shown off. Uh, we'll just go ahead and show that it doesn't matter what level they are. Uh, and we'll spawn level 115s. And unpause our AI, so that way we can hop down here. They come to us, throw this, and the secondary fire will actually pull enemies, and kind of, and it does have a cap of 8, which I feel is fair, but it will do that, and it will keep them locked for a certain amount of time, allowing you to go ahead and just have your way with them, so you can do whatever you want with them. He honestly thought he was getting somewhere. Poor thing. Yeah, this is a really good weapon. If you don't have it, um, have your clan research this thing. Uh, it's definitely worth the wait. And um, I guess I'll see you guys later. See you tomorrow. Do, 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 do. Dirt.